Hi everyone, this is Miss Ewell. In this video, we will be able to use, or sorry, we will be able to convert fractions to decimals using long division. We use different ways to show division. Here are four ways to show 12 divided by four. So first there's the fraction box, which we see a lot when we use long division. So 12 is what we are dividing. So 12 is the dividend and we're dividing 12 into four groups. Four is the divisor. We also see the division symbol, 12 divided by four. That's the, sorry, it's this little um, bar with the two dots. And then we also see the fraction bar. So 12 divided by four. This is a fraction bar, um, another name for division, written with a division bar is a fraction. And then when we use the computer, sometimes um, you'll see fractions written like this, and it'll have this division bar um, or fraction bar kind of next to it because that's the way it comes out when you use the slash on the computer. So we can use decimal long division to write any fraction as a decimal number. So this is what we'll, we will be working with today. We will use the long division method to write fractions as decimals. So let's start with an example, one eighth. So one is the dividend. We're taking one and we're dividing it into eight groups. So we put our one inside of the fraction bar box and eighth goes on the outside. Now one eighth is less than one, so I know that this number is gonna be a decimal number less than one. So if I try to start this, eight does not go into one. But what we can do is add zeros as placeholders. 1.000 is the same as just one. And we can use these placeholders to help with long division. So eight does not go into one, so I'll put a zero there. And you bring up the decimal point. So the decimal point goes right there, right up from where it is. So now I have 8 going into 10. 8 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 8 is 8, so I subtract 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. And then bring down the 0. 8 goes into 20. Two times, <laughs> two times, two times eight is 16. 20 minus 16 is four. And then I bring down the last zero. And eight goes evenly into 40 five times because eight times five is 40. Eight times five is 40, so I would subtract 40 and have, sorry, I ran out of room, have nothing left at the end. So one eighth is equal to 0 0.125, the, the decimal. 1 eighth equals 0 0.125. Let's try another example. Oh, sorry, repeating decimals. Sometimes if you do a um, di long division problem, you'll kind of get a pattern that starts to repeat, and you'll see it in the example. This is just the way that you write a repeating decimal. If I get an answer that's 0 0.777777, instead of having to write all those sevens out, we use this little bar up at the top of the seven to show that it just repeats forever and ever and ever and ever. In the second example, the eight one repeats over and over and over again. So the, um, the bar goes over the eight and the one, and that tells me that eight one is repeated over and over and over and over again. Let's do an example. Two thirds. So two goes inside, actually I should write this up a little bit. Two goes inside and three goes on the outside. And three does not go into two, so I'm gonna have to use some of those placeholders. Three does not go into two. Move the decimal point up. Three goes into 20 six times. Six times three is 18, so subtract 18. 20 minus 18 is two. And then bring down the next zero. Okay, again, I have a 20. Three goes into 20 six times. 
6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. And I can just keep adding zeros as placeholders. It doesn't matter. You can have a thousand zeros after, and it still equals 2. Bring it down again. Okay, 3 goes into 20 six times. 6 times 3 is 18. And I got a 2. Are you starting to see the pattern here? This will go on forever. I'm going to keep putting a six up at the top and I'm going to keep getting um, the same results down here. So I can tell that already that this, is, this pattern will repeat forever and ever and ever. So instead of continuing to write all of that out since I know it's going to be six every time, we can use that repeating decimal notation. Two thirds equals 0 0.6 and that six repeats forever. So two-thirds equals 0 0.6 repeating. The best way to um, get better at this is to keep on practicing. So do your best.